Hello friends, um, in this video I will demonstrate you how you can use yearly Camarilla pivot points along with monthly Camarilla pivot points. They are very accurate, trust me. Here I mark it yellow yearly open range as one r one just like I did it on the monthly uh, Camarilla pivot points. See, this is monthly small one, we have 12 months of action. This is monthly opening range, this is yearly opening range. Price starts the month, first month, by breaking to the upside. It reverses at, reverses at R3, you see, it reverses here. You can go on smaller time frames and always fine tune your entry at the reversal level. It's not always guaranteed that it will reverse there, but uh, usually it does. And then it goes back to the, another reversal level. S3 again goes back to the open range, very typical behavior, but it still stays within yearly open range. Here we have the first sign that will be bearish year on the 1st of February. We have breakout, uh, 2nd of February, we have breakout below the yearly open range. That sets a trend for the entire year. It's a sign of bearish trend during the year. Then price goes back to R3. And then you know you have to sell here because we broke through the uh, through the yearly opening range and we are at the reversal level on the top here. You know it's a good sell here, a very good sell. And then you could have sold here and just stayed short all the way here to the yearly reversal level. That would be uh, that would be. 526 pips if you have patience but uh, where a price reverse it price hit the reversal level as three and reverse it here back to the opening range so when price gets here above the opening range you know you have to buy because we are we are above the monthly opening range and we are at the reversal level at the yearly reversal level so it was a sign to buy and price went all the way to to the yearly opening range and then you have when you are at the close usually you, you know you have to sell because it's a bearish year usually price keeps staying below the opening range all the year most of times it's yearly well the year 2020 was a special one because it was a COVID year here this move was unusual move it was COVID driven move which changed the yearly trend and this one, those two moves, they changed the trend, the, the bullish moves of Euro, they were unusual. But after that, after price was, uh, since the middle of the year, since June, was about the um, opening range, you know you have to buy, so you would look for buys when price is above, uh, above monthly opening range, and was here it ended exactly at R5, you see it broke through the ceiling exactly at R5, it ended. So you know it's the top, you would never uh, buy here at the top. And it was also a reversal, R3 reversal next month. So very often price makes to R5 after it breaks the ceiling or the floor next month, early next month. You have to have always for two months Camarilla for reference. Same with yearly Camarilla. Don't trust much weekly Camarilla. They do work, but they are not as reliable. I also have a um, weekly Camarilla. And uh, one, one week I have for targets, you know, you can use them for targets uh, like the same way you use monthly Camarilla. So um, here the price again, the bearish trend continued. Here the price was below monthly opening range. You know you have to go short and it broke through S4, you target S5, here again the same, bearish trend continues, and it, uh, where it made, it, it touched S3, yearly reversal level, you see, and reverse it from S3, yearly reversal level, and next month, price is again below opening range, below monthly opening range, on the 3rd of August, you know already how to sell. So price went where? It went to the yearly reversal level. Euro, USD yearly reversal level, S3. 
you see it reverses it it reaches the uh, the floor s5 here you see it broke through the through the floor it reached s5 then it uh, pull it back to s4 very common price goes to to the s5 pulls back to the floor i told you about this and the next month reversal at r3 and also Camaril, uh, Kaufman adaptive moving average can also tell you the direction it holds the trend very well so this price is about Kaufman adaptive moving average you know it's bullish bias if it's below you know it's bearish bias here we have you can even use uh, just alone just stand alone uh, Kaufman adaptive moving average weekly monthly and daily multi time frame you will know the direction only by that but when you have Camarilla pivot points and opening ranges and reversal levels you know exactly where to enter where to exit like this here you see we are still in the opening range price didn't manage to break neither above or below uh, so but the why I was selling here to the uh, last two days this because price was below monthly opening range you know and i did two trades here one i went short 40 pips here i exited that uh, weekly s5 and then price, price pulled it back i entered the gain short and my target was exactly here at s1 at the opening range because i wasn't sure if price will back or will break it it's very big level yearly level which will send the yearly trend once price uh, breaks through here to the short to the downside and i suspect it's very likely to happen soon because during 2021 price here broke the yearly floor it's a sign of weakness and very often price continues bearish continues its breakout next year or if it's on monthly chart on next month you know and also we were also below Kaufman adaptive moving average you see eight period daily you see how well it held so you know it's a shot there was no buy here and uh, the same here price was you see how uh, how well it was weekly was I think no it was monthly monthly eight period moving average was exactly at one coincides you see yearly opening range and monthly adaptive uh, moving average eight period will say on that this is a top that this is breakout above this would be very significant price didn't break price didn't break above the monthly ceiling it rejected and uh, now we will see if we will manage to break through the yearly open range i think it will and most likely will crash down to s3 so here it will be action so there will be downtrend here most likely this way uh, but you know you have to find the right moment to to sell also during the pullbacks okay we will also see how february will develop some uh, how price reacts to the monthly opening range of february in a few days but most likely it will be below if it will be above uh, then we will look for bullish buys but i doubt it will be above because so far it's the bearish trend is still there and um, that's how you can use some uh, monthly and yearly Camarilla pivot points together with moving averages that's all you need basically for its entire strategy by itself and you can apply this to whatever instrument you like let's go for example uh, GBP GPY uh, uh, here we have the same thing okay here we have the first sign it's going to be most likely bearish year this is uh, you see price uh, failed at the yearly opening range and now we have a breakout below the yearly opening range yesterday to and today but it was still uh, about monthly no about i think this is weekly kaufman adopting moving average but very likely this downtrend is to continue to the downside to S3 just like with Euro they are correlated to the downside so you can also use uh, here how, how nicely Kaufman adopted moving average how to the price you see 
it's one of the past if you compare uh, all moving averages uh, i was looking at them comparing every single type of moving average kaufman adapter moving average holds the price the best especially eight period and of course you say they may but uh, and also my favorite moving averages is um, of course uh, kaufman adapter moving average uh, exponential moving average and um, t3 tilson moving average those three they help price the past and um, you can use them in conjunction with the uh, Camarilla pivot points yearly and monthly you can also just do add also weekly very easily you can also add the weekly the same way you do with we uh, see weekly pivot points traditional you can add also one weekly for targets weekly Camarilla pivot points you can add the same way Unclick pivot, unclick as to as five doesn't show its failure, and you also have here a weekly. You see now we are at weekly reversal level, so when there is also Kaufman adaptive moving average here, so it's a very likely price I would turn around here and maybe pull back to S1 or will be some sort of pullback here very likely. I think it's too late to sell here. You would find to find have a far the better entry somewhere here maybe to sell. But there are always opportunities to sell every day if you have many say apply the same system across many instruments. So that's how we use um, uh, monthly, weekly, and. Uh, yearly pivot points camarilla pivot points you can go smaller time frame like four hour four hours um, yeah here you see uh, the same thing yeah you see here you see yearly uh, you see yearly s1 opening range you see monthly opening range and you have also weekly opening range here it's yellow, but you see it here at one to S1 price was above weekly. So, and here it's like been pressed by the Kaufman adaptive moving average. And this, but I might break my break here. Uh, this congestion might break, and price might go to S3. We'll go to S3 very likely because we are in downtrend. That's how um, Tomorilla pivot points work. I wish you success in your trading. Be well.